So Tinky we clean. Oh man, this is um this is going to be an amazing week. Uh got some great stuff coming. Please, like, please make sure you subscribe and please have your notifications turned on. Cause I don't want you to miss anything that's on the way. This is an extremely special week. Um, so y'all just y'all just be on the lookout, man. Stuff is like stuff is moving, man. Um, and I'm just I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for all of y'all uh, for being who y'all are. I'm grateful for all of y'all for just continuing to support the channel like y'all have been. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it a lot. Um, and stuff about to take a, a little turn, a little turn. Um, but it's gonna be a real fun week. But anyway, um, yesterday. Uh, timing is everything. It's absolutely everything, as we always know and talk about. Um, yesterday, we put out the video yesterday morning um, talking about, hey, look, the Ravens, they got to make a decision. Like, they have to make a decision on Patrick Queen ASAP because the deadline was, was, was coming up, like literally coming up. It was today. Well, and um, they, we hadn't heard anything. We, we had not heard anything. Uh, and whenever Eric DeCosta spoke about Patrick Queen uh, in the fifth-year option, he was very mum on things. He would not give us a direct answer. And even if he would have given us a direct answer, seeing would be believing because they hadn't done anything. Because if, if I take you back to last year with Hollywood, with Hollywood, the, the questions start coming up, hey, are you going to pick up Hollywood's fifth-year option? He said, yeah, we, we anticipate picking up Hollywood's fifth-year option. Um, and then they traded him. So, <laughs> so you just, again... They could, they could say whatever they want, but really it's the actions that tell the real part of the story. Um, but they declined it. They officially declined Patrick Queen's fifth-year option. So what that means is that, and I don't think it really came as a shock to anybody. I don't think anybody was like, oh, man, it's so surprising. I can't believe that this happened. I, I don't think anybody was like that. Um, because, again, Ravens fans uh, are very smart. Ravens fans understand the business. They get it. They're like, Aaron, Ravens, they just traded for Roquan Smith last year. Then this offseason, Ravens drafted a linebacker with their second pick, an inside linebacker that, that got the explosiveness and that got the burst, that got some speed. That looks like he can make some plays. We'll see on the NFL level, but I would anticipate – that he he can he does well, so we hope that he does. Um, so a, a lot of Ravens fans kind of saw the writing on the wall, at least for the future. But what does this mean? I know we briefly went over some of the different options yesterday. If the Ravens were to uh, accept or uh, if they were to pick up or decline the fifth year option for Patrick Queen. Um, so now that we got clarification on that, um, what happens next? What happens now? Well, the draft is passed. The draft is over. I mean, trades can still happen, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all know how, like, adamant I was and how I felt like Patrick Queen was definitely uh, getting traded. And he really that he wasn't going to be with the Ravens for the long haul. I still think he won't be for the Ravens for, for the long haul. But as far as being traded, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, uh... Unless you're gonna get like unless you're gonna do a like a player for player trade, something like that. Man, or unless somebody could give you a deal that like blows you out of the water or something like that. Maybe. Just maybe. Which I would love. I know I would love. Maybe he stays. Maybe Patrick Queen stays another year. Yeah, but I, I still got my doubts. But if he could stay another year, and this obviously will be his last year with the team. I would love that. Not that I, would, I wouldn't love that it was his last year with the team. I would love if he could stay with the team this year and do his thing. And go get paid. Go get your bread. Go get your money. Because um, that's what, I mean, we just that's what we hope for these players. They go get their bread. We know the NFL stands for not for long. Um, Patrick Queen, super young. Super young. So he got plenty of football ahead of him. He does not have injury issues, anything like that. He's been really healthy throughout his career, um, and he's on the upside, man. He's on the upside. So I would, I would love if maybe they, they, they take the approach like they took last season at the safety position, but they take it with the linebackers. Because last year, we signed Marcus Williams. We still had Chuck Clark. We had Geno Stone. For a little bit, they had Tony Jefferson, too. 
But they had a, a plethora of safeties. They had plenty of safeties. They still drafted Kyle Hamilton. And when they drafted Kyle Hamilton, first round pick too. What was it? Wasn't he pick 14, I think? Just like his number. But anyway, they drafted Kyle, they drafted Kyle Hamilton. And remember, I was thinking, oh, they like, that's a lot of safeties. What are you gonna do with all them safeties? But they found a place for him, they found a role for him, and it went well. It went really good. As the season went along, he just got better and better and better and better and better. And he's doing his thing. So now, maybe, just maybe, hopefully, the Ravens can do that um, with the, the linebacker with Simpson, I believe. I got I to gotta get these rookie names down because I'm, I'm struggling with them right now because there's been just so much going on still. Um, but with the rookie linebacker they drafted in the third round, um, maybe this, the same can be applied because we got Roquan Smith. We got Patrick Queen for now still. Uh, we still got Malik Harrison. We got Christian Welch. You got Josh Harris. So you, you have some linebackers already, but you just drafted an inside linebacker. So one could think, man, Ravens got a lot of linebackers, which they do, but maybe the same rules can apply with, with how it happened to Hamilton last year. Because, I mean, with, with this being Patrick Queen, officially now this is his last year uh, of his contract, um, I would expect it to be sort of a, a Chuck Clark approach now if he does stay, which hopefully he does stay this year. Hopefully he does. Um, to where he can come, do his thing, but they, they start finding a role for the rookie too. And the way that they did that with Kyle Hamilton – they didn't force him to be the drop back safety. Chuck Clark was handling that for the most part. And Chuck Clark was still in the box and stuff too. But um with Kyle Hamilton, it allowed him to ease in, ease into the NFL. And not saying that it's like this for every single player, prospect, whatever, because different things happen. But I think in a lot of cases, when you can ease somebody into the NFL, ease a player into the NFL, instead of being like, all right, come through, it's all on you. I think in the long term, and, and again, every, it's a case-by-case basis, but I think that's a, a great way of ushering them in, helping them in, and allowing them to get more comfortable. And that way, while they're still working on themselves, while they're still adjusting to life in the NFL, it's not like everything's on them, all the pressure's on them. If you can alleviate pressure from somebody, why not? Why not? If you can make their job easier, especially for a rookie, especially a young rookie coming in, that's a big, that's a big step. That's a huge transition. So maybe, just maybe, that can be what happens. Because I would love it. I, 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 I would really, really love that. Because like we talked about yesterday, like the, the, the depth, the insane depth that that would be at, at linebacker. And just thinking of uh, well, Mike McDonald, just thinking about how, because Patrick Queen, we know Patrick Queen, one thing about him, excellent blitzer, excellent blitzer because he's explosive. But just imagine if you could find ways to, to use the different linebackers, different packages and whatnot, and maybe even some packages with all three on the field at the same time. I think it will be rare, but it could happen. But just to have those options, because when you have more options, you can be more creative. It allows you to be even more flexible. And with Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen, those guys got the experience. They got the NFL experience. So this will be another NFL year under their belts, under both of their belts. But now you got the rookie coming in. And this will be his first year. So he can learn from both of those guys. He can watch both of those guys, and he can be alongside both of those guys. Man, that could help him so much. Help make th this transition just so much smoother and, and so much easier. So, again, my, my stance on wanting Patrick Queen to stay never changed. Um, but now my thoughts on the possibility of it happening, they are. They are. Yeah, just this year. Next year, I don't think he'll be here. Um, and again, I mean, he could still be traded this year, but next year for sure, I, I don't think he'll be here. Um, and, but this is, uh, 
if he does stay, and this is how it goes, this is how it ends, this would be how I wanted it to, um, to where they ride out the rookie contract and don't trade him before. Because, that again, that would be my preference. Because, again, y'all, y'all know me. I'd be wanting Ravens to keep these players, man, and, and ride out the rookie contracts. But Eric DeCosta would be telling me no. He'd be like, no, I ain't doing that. I'm trading them so I can get something now for them rather than later. I ain't letting their rookie contracts run out. So, Patrick Queen, again, I don't think that he's a part of the Ravens' future. I don't think Eric DeCosta views him like that. So, of course, he could still be traded any day now. He could be traded any time. Um, but I was just talking to uh, my guy Nitro about it yesterday. And I was saying I, I, uh, I do appreciate and I respect how Patrick Queen has handled himself throughout this process, at least via social media. Um, because he has shown, and again, it's just been a few tweets and a, and a retweet too, but he has, I, I appreciate him being willing to acknowledge what's going on and not, and it doesn't, doesn't seem like he's in denial. Um, and again, just a few tweets that I could be looking too much into it because of course, when they drafted, uh, the rookie in the third round, um, he tweeted sheesh. And I mean, you could take a lot of different things from that, but what I took from it is like, Ooh, yeah, oof, that's the business right there. Ooh, they just the inside linebacker and they got me sitting here. Oh man. Wow. But then, um, when, when it was officially announced yesterday that the Ravens weren't picking up his fifth year option, um, he retweeted it. He retweeted it. Obviously, he knows that everybody knows. He knows everybody got that notification too. But for him to, to retweet it, I was like, okay. Okay. So that's him letting all his followers know, showing all his followers, like, hey, it didn't get picked up. What you gonna do now? So mm, we'll see what happens now, man. We'll see what happens. I, I, and I, like I said, I, I hope it's a Chuck Clark approach this year. Because remember, they, they tried to trade Chuck Clark last year. They, really, they wanted to trade Chuck Clark last year. There were no takers. Now, for Patrick Queen, I, I definitely think there would definitely be takers for sure. But what would the compensation be? What, what would they offer the Ravens for a Patrick Queen if they were interested? But again, hopefully it ends up being like Chuck Clark to where they end up staying one more year. So the Costa, it's it's okay to just get the comp pick in two years. Don't 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 worry about getting conversation now for Patrick Queen. Just let him stay. Just let him stay. Let him stay and ball out this year, do his thing, and then he'll go get some bread next year. From who? Ooh, that'll be something right there. But we do wish him well. Whatever happens with Patrick Queen, uh, we do hope that uh, he he does really 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 good. Uh, wherever he ends up um, this year, next year. And beyond. So shout out to PQ, man. Uh, but I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Again, subscribe. Please subscribe and, and turn your notifications on. So I, I just don't want nobody missing anything. Because uh, I ain't, I ain't going to feel bad if you miss it. Because, again, that's on you. I'll I be telling people, turn your, subscribe and turn your notifications on. But they don't want to hear me. So anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And again, like I said, thank you so much for everything that y'all do. I love you. We out.